as these, some of you have uh, experienced it. Being here. <laughs> Should I do it like that? Should I read the whole fucking thing? And, uh... Or I could do my Christopher Walken, which yeah! is really, oh, Jesus. Oh, God, really? <laughs> what the hell does this guy have? <laughs> Next to vanity, envy is probably the most basic sin. <laughs> Shit. Alright, 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 alright. Chapter 7. <laughs> Do it! Do it now! Kill me! What are you waiting for? Why don't you kill me? You don't kill you if you don't have a weapon! My favorite, though, is the scream. The like, ah, ah, ah. What the fuck is wrong with him? He sounds like he's passing a pine cone. Could you imagine? Just like, ah. Bet you never saw that at a fucking book reading, huh? <laughs> oh, do it, do it now! <laughs> All right, hey, 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 let's let's clean it up. I don't wear these glasses for nothing. I can see. Well, I, I do it so I can see you fuckers. Because if I don't, I take these off and I'm like, fucking, you guys look great. Oh Christ! All right, here we go. You ready? fucking pants up. Here we go. I'm with Envy. What the hell does that guy have? I have to have it. Ooh, what the fuck is that? I have to have that. Envy. How much easier does it get, man? Next to vanity, Envy is probably the most basic sin on Mr. Blackwell's list. It is the critter in the crevices, the one just out of reach. It is the itch that scratches back. Come on, hands up, you know who you are. We are all envious, am I right? It is just really fucking easy to be envious of anything and anyone. It makes us angry, covetous, it can even turn us on. For what is lust but being envious and wanting someone's sex all over us? Settle down. It's so if <laughs> So if greed is the main ingredient in our sinful pie, envy is the secret spice that really pulls it all together. Along with the rest of our deadly seven, it has been around for a really long time. One of the Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife. Apparently, Ezekiel's wife was looking more like Rachel Hunter than Estelle Getty. She was a golden girl, just let it go. So envy is nothing new. It is also nothing deadly. Wanting something better, well, hell, that's the American way. That's the worldwide way, am I right? <laughs> envy puts hollow points in raw, pulpy hope and leaves you armed with a life gun you can use to blow big holes in listlessness. And why not? If dreams are to be believed in this country, they are community property, a visceral birthright they hand out in the hospital with red, white, and blue pacifiers. All we need is a little raising so we know what to do with all that shiny freedom. Shame. <laughs> Part of that rearing process is a healthy dose of envy. I do not know about you, but there's so much stuff I want, and most of it resembles shit that somebody else already has. So why should I not want what someone else has? Just because it belongs to them, it does not mean more aren't being made in various sizes. Even if it is one of a kind, there is always some shithouse shack somewhere selling losers like me knockoff replicas that smell like cornmeal and melt in the rain. Thank you. <laughs> Commercials are romantic comedies designed to make the consumer envious of the people and the product. The prettier the person, the more you really need these, those pants. Billboards look like subliminal messages, your own personal covetous strobe light if you drive fast, like me, and their sole purpose is to dose you with fleeting glimpses of shit you do not have or have not seen. So you find yourself wanting shit you never knew you wanted. You become a Manchurian candidate at Macy's, ready to walk away with the hand soap and the lotion. 
We are bombarded with things to covet at morning, noon, and midnight madness sales until it becomes commonplace. But that is my point. I do not believe envy is all that bad. And in America, or any other, how can you not feel envious? We are all made to feel inadequate and wanton from invisible promises and dark shadows. Back alley bliss can be yours if the avarice is right. That was really clever, wasn't it? That was... <laughs>